will you accept the results of this election if Trump were to lose? I don't think he can lose. I don't see way, any way that he can lose. You know, the, the guy that he's running against is literally shitting himself on stage, stages and being escorted off by his wife. He's, a, he's like a robot almost. Yeah, do you have any problems with, with Trump's recent cognitive decline at all? Is that bothering you? Go, forgetting names, rambling, uh, you telling think, stories? You think Trump's doing that? Well, he has forgotten names and he's been rambling going off prompter a lot lately. That's why I ask. I think if you're talking about Trump for getting sh you got to look at the other guy. I'm, I'm not asking about it. I'm just saying, do you, it's, no, uh, are you worried no, about you are uh, asking that. No, you already said it about Biden. I'm asking you about Trump. Clean shade, not by her. You talk in clean shade. I won't listen to fucking I don't think he's forgetting shit. I think uh, Trump knows exactly what he's talking about. That's all. Right. The other guy is sleeping and shitting himself. And uh, it seems like you're that side from what was just talking to you. That I'm what? It seems like you're on the... I'm on no side. I'm just trying to get what people's vibes are. I can guarantee uh, you're not voting for Trump by just talking to you right now. Marjorie Taylor Greene, uh, the congressman from Georgia, said that Trump is as close to Jesus as anyone she's seen, that he is like... Uh, but he's being treated uh, like Jesus. Uh, he's being treated because they are pro persecuting him. Persecuting him. Do you? What do you think of, uh, of that? I think that's a that's a fair statement. Um, I mean, Jesus was he was wrongly crucified. Um, he was a like like Trump. He, you know, he was a he was a fighter. He was an evangelizer, and you know, the people in back in that time and the pol the politics of that time just wanted him out, so they got rid of him. You know, some people have compared Trump to Nelson Mandela for the way he was persecuted. Do you see any similarity between Trump and Mandela? Um. Mm, it may be a little bit of similarity. Yeah, maybe a little bit, just a little bit. If Trump were to lose again, what would that mean for your fight for your daughter? Nothing for our fight for our daughter because she is legendary. But what it means for the American people is that they're coming for you. You're next. They don't want the people that they have, they're coming for your rights. And attacking our military, not supporting our military, who are the people who defend the freedoms you and I get to stand here and fight about, are the first people that need defended and respected. And this administration has done nothing to that. The Trump administration will bring it back. I see you got the autograph, you got the hat, you got the shirt, you got the badge, you took the button off for some reason. Oh, well, and, uh, somebody, I just put it on. Oh, okay, all right. So, but, but tell me, oh, and the shoes, look at that. Yeah, de defund the media as you stand and talk to a media. Uh, but tell me, um, tell me what is it you like so much about the guy? I just love his leadership style. I love that he is unapologetic. I think he wants the best for our country. He, he believes God can get him there, so do I. And uh, I, I feel he truly loves our nation. All right, let's talk about a little bit of that. Do you feel that he wants the best for our country in, any more than President Biden does or in just a different way? Uh, no, I, I feel that um, the Biden administration has not helped us internationally, uh, militarily, our economy, on every, on every level. So The inflation numbers are going down. They were way up. They're going down. The stock market is at all-time highs. We've never had better unemployment in the history of the country. When you see a trend that's starting ever so slowly to correct, does that give you hope as well? It does not. No, because our international climate, our military, our, our nation, it, it does not, we are not revered as we once were. We were, uh, you know, um, inter I served in the military. I worked for the federal government. Um, and I know, you know, what a, le a good leader looks like. And that's Trump, you know, and the safety of our nation. We went with peace, you know. If Trump were to lose again, what would that mean for you? I mean, it would just be devastating. Uh, and it's not so much for me, like, yes, I'm behind him. Yes, I I really feel that's my opinion, you know, um, that that's who we need for our nation, right? President Biden goes to church almost every Sunday. He's a Catholic of Irish descent, like you said you were. Does that make you look at him differently and think, you know, I understand this man a little better? No, no, absolutely not. To me, he's a heretic of the Catholic faith. And what about President Trump? Do you see him as a religious guy? 
I mean, he just like by like, I mean, that's their own personal relationship with the Lord. You know, I feel he does love God. He speaks of him often. I don't hear Biden speaking of our Lord, you know, and I mean, all the presidents, Obama, you know, Hillary, whatever, you know, side of the aisle they were on. You know, Hillary they, wasn't president, by the way. Uh, well, poli a politician, we'll say, or her, her husband, yeah. we'll go for OK, the Clintons. Uh, you know, they, they all have their, you know, uh, form of worship, however that is. But um, I believe, you know, Trump leads from his heart and he, his conscience and tries to do his best to represent all of us, you know. And Are you scared that abortion may be the reason he loses the presidency again? No, I do not feel that that would be it. I really... Uh, if he loses, why, why do you think he would lose again? Gosh, you know, I just feel like it would be, honestly, if I'm speaking, if we look at the numbers from the last election, we had Republicans that supported Trump, you know, in 16 and, and, and gave money and were good Republicans, right? But they didn't go out to vote, you know? They didn't mail in their ballots. They didn't get out there. And they're just, you know, because they had that logic of, oh, it's only one vote. It's only one vote. No, it's not only one vote. You got to if everybody say, thinks like that, you know, that's that's what happens. So you got to get out there, you know, so laziness, I guess. One of the Ten Commandments, sloth, maybe. <laughs> you make America great again on your hat. What does that mean to you? What do those words mean to you? Get Biden out of office. When was America last great? I'm not sure. So the again there implies. I'm not a historian. Right. But the again there implies something. At one point, we were doing better than we're doing right now. Okay. And uh, failed terribly since Biden's been president. And what scores? I, I don't want to talk anymore. I see you're wearing a Jesus is my savior, Trump is my president. Louisiana now putting um, the Ten Commandments up in classrooms there. It was mandated, signed into law by Governor Jeff Landry. How do you feel about that? I have no issue with that. It's a, a separation of church and state, which is the the state should not endorse a religion, not that you should have no access to religion. If you, but right, I'm, and I'm not even arguing, I'm just trying to get a sense of what people think. Uh, how if would you imagine, I'm not a Muslim, but if I was a Muslim kid in school in Louisiana and the Ten Commandments were up there and I worship a different God, it would give me... They don't, they don't worship a different God. Allah is our God. It's the same God. It's the same God it's as... It's the same God. Right? Jesus is a prophet in Islam and he's not... A different religion. It's the same God. Okay. So, so you don't see any difference between Allah and Jesus? No. I said in in Islam, Jesus is a is a prophet in Islam. He's not the son of God like they do in Christianity, right? But it's this, Allah is the same God that we follow. What do you like about Donald Trump? I like uh, what he stands for, making America great again. I feel like the country's been in ruins the past three and a half years. When you say make America great, he had that on his hats in 2015 and 2016, too. What was it and about? I was living, and I was living a lot better. What, what, was it, what is America great again? What, when was it great, in your estimation? Okay, I'm uh, pretty fair. So I'll say I wasn't, I was alive, but I wasn't, um, you know, voting. Obviously, I was very young, but I know, like, my parents, uh, when Clinton was in office, the economy was good. Now, you compare anything even close to that time period, 